Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we are going to be doing a uh, a quick look of the uh, the new Tones and Art Toys uh, Warped Vengeance, uh, uh, Warped Vengeance, sorry, also known as the uh, the Bojack Trunks, right, or the Trunks without the jacket. Uh, I feel like I'm one of the last ones to get it. I got it from Omname. I think that's the last time I'm going to order from there. I feel like Omname lately has been last where it before it used to be the other way around it used to be aliexpress would be last right or secondary but anyways it is what it is um it finally got here um but one thing about this is that i got to see everybody's videos so that was cool i like seeing um all the guys that do videos on these figures to get to see uh different perspectives i get to see different perspectives different lighting also they deal with different issues different qc types for the most part the qc is Pretty much the same on all of them um so yeah i get to see all that stuff beforehand so it's cool and then i check for anything that might have been missed when i get it so anyways um i did open this up before doing the video because i wanted to see how much uh qc i'm dealing with uh beforehand and uh, so i don't break anything on camera because uh, i definitely got a lot i'm i definitely got a ton of qc issues on mine i feel like so far, I got the most, right? The, there's one main QC issue I'm going to show you guys on the leg that I have not seen anybody talk about or show yet, right, on any video. So, um, I feel like I definitely got the, uh, they definitely piled down the QC on my version, right? Probably just mine, right? They got definitely the, uh, that much. But anyways, the box looks nice real quick. Um, mo the main thing, like I said, I liked is that it comes with this really big, um, slashing effect. So, that's cool. Um, but anyways... I'm going to try to do, there's a lot of QC on this figure. I'm going to try to do a, a quick look of it. Uh, we're going to check the QC issues. It has all of them collectively. And I'm going to try my best to try to resolve the Q, QC issues on camera so you guys can all see. And then you guys will be able to see the process with me uh, as I go from, you know, the figure being completely riddled with QC issues to hopefully by the end of the video, completely fixed right or completely smooth or nothing else is there anymore right anyways this is going to be interesting because i've never done something like this it's going to be pretty much a before and after qc no qc so that's going to be interesting let's get to it all right so real quick it does come with this shipper box which is nice i love the shipper boxes uh, i don't know if i'm going to get version b yet but i definitely anybody that follows me knows that i like matt first so i got that one um, but I do love this um, slash effect. It's really sick and very unique. I love unique slash effects. I'm definitely going to be posing them with this slash effect. So that's going to be cool. And my, I'm starting to get more um, figures uh, built up for um, for trunks. I'm getting more finally. We're starting to get more trunks, more versions of him. So that's cool, which I love. All right. So real quick, this is what he looks like outside the box. Uh he comes with a ton of accessories. He was like $78 uh, with shipping and, and tax. Uh, I, I Normally, I'd say that's a lot, but this guy comes with a lot. He comes with both base and Super Saiyan head sculpts, which I love when it comes to figures when they both come. I'm sorry, when they come with both head sculpts or two different head sculpts, right? Base form and, you know, whatever they decide to do, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2 for others. But anyways, um, tons of face plates. Uh, definitely comes with a little more on the base uh, for the base form plates on this one. It only has two extra uh, Super Saiyan face plates. The rest are base form, which is cool. Uh, but like I said, it comes with a lot. Sword, pockets. By now, you guys know about the magnet. This is magnetized to that, which is awesome. No risk of breaking. That's what it looks like on the back. Okay, here we go. For their first, for their very first figure, this is my opinion, in my opinion only. He is slightly taller, not a bad thing. Uh, I think towards the end of the uh, of the Android saga, he definitely looked, you know, like he hit a growth spurt. He like he looked buffer. He looked taller. Like I was like, what the hell just happened to him? But anyways, so in that sense, I think definitely this is good. It works. Uh, as far as as far as the look, the look of him is, they nailed it. Like. There's really nothing wrong with it. The the look of him, uh, the paint, the details, this looks sick. Like, period, right? For especially for their first time doing it, Tones and Artois did definitely a, a damn good job in the appearance uh, department. Definitely looks awesome. Paint department looks sick. Really can't say anything about that, right? 
I think the QC is the only thing that was an issue. But like I said, if the QC was all they had, hopefully when they do their next uh their next figure, or if they ever reissue, if these guys sell out and they reissue this one and boom, maybe they'll see all of our thoughts and opinions and our comments and all these videos, and then you know they'll they'll adjust that. They adjust that and they're just gonna kill it. I mean, they're already pretty much there. But anyways, I'm gonna show you real quick the faceplate so we can get to the uh, QC stuff. Uh, this is the uh, screaming faceplate, right? Looks good. Here we have teeth gridded, right? The details, like I said, spectacular. You really can't do anything about that. You can't knock it. It's, the detail is just there. And there you go. There's the uh, serious normal face. I will say one thing with these strands here. Don't mess with these strands too much. Those... Uh, I've had experience with, I forgot what figure it was at strands, and they do get um, loose at the base and possibly break off, so be careful with that. Okay, so for Super Saiyan, it only has three face plates. Uh, that's more than enough, but base form is definitely where they did way, way more. This is the uh, base form Sirius, all right? Looks good. Teeth gridded. Looks good too, right? There he is looking off to the side face, all right? Looks good too. Screaming face. Definitely looks awesomely detailed. This is like an open mouth, slightly in disbelief, right? The other one was screaming, angry, battle face. This one was just like, like that, different, slightly different. And there's the one where he's tearing up. Right, excellent addition too. Like I said, the, so many face plates on just this one alone. Love it. And there's the other front hair sculpt piece it comes with the messy hair. Right, also awesome. Love the accessories. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the face plates. Uh, we're gonna go straight to the QC next. Uh, I will say one thing real quick before I move on. If you're not the type of person that fixes these things, you know, knows how to oil it up or anything like that, and, and you don't trust yourself, and, you know, you don't know how to shave down a joint here and there, uh, I would say just don't get it, because that is a, somewhat of a deal breaker. It definitely is a deal breaker if you don't do that, and then you can easily break it and, you know, whatnot. So, um, but if you don't mind, and you would rather keep it like that, and it's still better than nothing, then that's fine but for the most part if you don't if you're not a fixer you know you don't know how to oil up or shave down then i would definitely say stay away from this one until until the um until somebody else makes it or if they make a second version that's that's uh where the qc issues have been addressed so anyways moving on so like i said i did check it out before doing this so that i could see ahead of time uh so this guy is stiff everywhere right i, I saw a lot of guys that only had this leg or both legs uh, another one where it was just this arm or both arms, right? I got all four arms. All four arms make the noise for me. They're like really tight. They, they squeak, they crack. And then this knee right here pops out. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, they didn't completely finish uh, shaving down or sculpting this kneecap piece. So there's a piece of excess plastic in there that I'll show you in a second that prevents it from pegging in completely. And then uh, the neck is also really tight because it doesn't move much. Like it moves like a little bit here, but that's the head sculpt rotating on the ball, right? The actual um, peg itself is not moving. So if I remove this, you can see that the peg does not move. Like I, there you go barely moves if i move it this does not move for anything and it's very reminiscent of the black hole toys jiren egg i had to put a little oil on there and then after that it was fine uh perfectly fine so i got neck stiff neck here neck joint uh shoulders they you can hear it right i could barely turn that i could barely turn this they're like stock legs right same thing here yeah other than that, everything else feels fine. The knee bends, the elbow bends, uh, the wrists, the feet, the ankles. Uh, and then the biggest issue was over here, like I said. Let me show you guys. So this leg here, right, look. So you can see there's an excess amount of plastic right here, right? Hold on, let me see if camera, there you go. So there's an excess amount of plastic here. It looks like it's curving upward, right? It's not supposed to look like that. 
and then if you see it from this side you can see the plastic right there sticking out so it looks like it bent instead of clipping that off they didn't do that and that gets in the way so I'm gonna have to shave that piece down it's really supposed to look like this I'm gonna unpeg this one so you guys can see okay so you see this leg right here this one is completely normal smoothed out right you see it there's no excess plastic and look at this knee right here right you see the difference that's how it's supposed to look that's how it's not supposed to look so this is a big QC issue right here and if you don't know how to shave this down that's definitely a deal breaker and a problem but like I said for me it's not a big deal I'm OCD I know how to do these things I, I sometimes I sit there trying to figure out better ways to do it you know um, but anyways once it's fixed it's not gonna be a big deal I'm gonna love the figure and it's gonna be awesome so I'm gonna try to fix these as much as I can on camera so you guys can see let's continue all right, so first we're going to fix this arm right here, right? This one is really stuck. I can move it, but like it's going to break for sure. I can't do anything with it, really. It's not rotating for me. So the best way to do it, um, lift up the armpit, right? The arm, and you're going to go through the armpit. And you're going to try to use, I have, it's called silicone, silicone oil. I got it from Amazon a, a while ago. Very little goes a long way. I put some in this container here because the bottle is big and I don't want that getting in my way, so... What I'm going to do is just, I like to use a safety pin or something like a needle like this for the tip. I get a very small drop. You don't need a lot. A very small drop is all you really need. And I let the drop kind of like dribble down, right? When it gets to that fine tip, very small. And then you kind of like try to like slide that into the joint and then just do that and move it around. Uh, usually that's more than enough. And then sometimes you'll have to hit it on this side too. But hopefully one side will be good enough. So... Hopefully you guys can see this on camera. I'm using a safety pin. And if you can see, I got very a very small amount. Probably can't even see it on camera, right? Let me move that out. Okay, so I'm going to try to put it in an angle so you guys can see real quick. There you go. That's actually good. So I'm going to try to put it in there. Okay. Okay, sorry, I had to put my safety pin on the side. Um, but anyways, so I was able to put that small little drop, and that's all I needed. I was able to get it in there. I don't know if you can see that it's shiny in there, and then just move it around until it loosens up, and there you go. See that? And there you go. Let me focus my camera, and then there you go. And just like that, the shoulder is completely loose now i can move it freely and it feels just fine nice and tight let me clean some of the excess off off camera real quick be back all right so anyways i'm trying to go through this quickly as possible but this is definitely a process uh you definitely have to have patience with this if you don't you will break uh these joints when you're moving Dude, i didn't even see that there's a massive ink stain right there that's not cool right there it looks like a big paint scuff Probably rubbed off from here. I'm going to have to try to take that off. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, this one's not easily coming off. I didn't even see that right there uh, before doing the video. That's another QC issue, paint rub off. Um, I try to get, sometimes uh, with a little bit of a wet cloth, uh, rub it really firmly. It comes off nicely and it doesn't bug me. It's fine. It comes off clean for the most part. But every now and then you'll come across... Uh, a nice strong stain like this of paint and then it's hard to get off so I'm gonna try to get that off uh, I don't know, another time let's move on to the joints okay so like I said this one I could barely move right you can hear the snapping the cracking okay same thing we're gonna do this this one okay so I'm gonna get my oil I'm gonna dip the tip of this safety pin right that's all I need like that just like that I saw a little bit of of it already catch on the tip see if you can see that it's all you need and then I'm gonna try to slide it under the armpit as well once again actually I need a different angle all right same thing with this one under the armpit you're gonna hit that base of that joint And there you go. You'll you'll sometimes you'll see the drop hit the edges and not the actual line or the crack of it. But as long as it gets in there, rub it in with the tip of the needle or your safety pin, 
and it should work just fine as well and then work it back and forth and then move it around and there you go I feel it already and there you go look at that look at that no popping no cracking and I'm just barely using my finger look at that nice right and there's no no, no excess to clean off because I'm using such a little amount it kind of gets sucked into the cavity so that's awesome and if there is it's a very slight bit you just wipe off okay next thing we're gonna do like I said I don't want to take too long is the neck peg the neck peg like I said it's stuck it doesn't move like I'm trying to move it and it's not moving it's just not same thing you're gonna get a drop right on the uh, on the tip of the uh, safety pin right probably even less because it's the neck peg and then you're pretty much gonna put it around the uh, where that joint kind of meets the uh, socket right like right here on the lines and it cracks like right here all right on this side I could probably dab a little bit on this side too all right let me get a little bit again <sighs> That's probably a lot right there. And then just kind of try to squeeze it. And there you go. And just rub it on there like that. And then. Might put a little force into that. This one might be a little more. There you go. Got it. And there you go. And then just work it around. There you go. Look, it's actually moving now. All right, it's actually moving up and down way easier than it did. Let me work that around real quick. So sometimes I've noticed that some figures, um, this neck joint will be stiff, even on some uh, other demoniacal Kong. And uh, I think that's a rare, more of a rare thing on SH, but it's happened here and there. Uh, so when this is really stiff and it doesn't move, it gives the illusion that there's no neck articulation and it's just the head moving on this ball. But because I was able to put a little oil in the base of that peg this now moves and now instead of just the head moving around this ball socket on, or sorry peg only this neck peg moves as well and that's going to give you more movement all around so and real quick just to show you guys so far the progress real quick no more squeaking on the arms look at that nice and it's nice and tight still beautiful and then look at the head now it was just before the head moving on the peg like i said now he moves way better obviously the hair stops him here but all around look at that so much more ease and movement now on the neck the neck does not move obviously but now at least the peg moves with the head as well so that's awesome when it comes to the ab crunch the ab crunch is fine there's nothing you need there and backwards as well and the swivel on the waist even though it does make the sound it's not as tight it's still decently loose and I'm not going to add anything to that because then it might make it too loose. There is such a thing as too loose. So that one is fine. I don't mind. I can still move it freely. That's not a problem. Really easily. Uh, so I have all oh, the legs. The legs are next right here. I can't. Like I said, look at that. I can't. <sighs> Let's get to that. Okay. So for this leg here, what I try to do is wiggle the leg around until I create a gap enough, big enough to where I can see the, the socket where the actual hip peg goes into from this leg. And that's what I try to do here. So I was able to open it here. You see this gap right here? So I'm going to go through there. You, I probably can't show that on camera because it's really dark in there. And I'm going to have to do that one off camera so I can see better. So give me a second and I'll be back on this one. Okay, so I was able to put a drop in there. Uh, I haven't twisted it yet because I still, like I said, I want to show you guys as much as possible of the process. So I put the drop in there. I'm about to move it right now. See if it gets in there. It's still cracking. And there you go. It just stopped. It got it in there. Look at that. And just like that. And just like that, this, this leg here went from this, right, to that. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, If Tonson's ever watching or anybody or Demonical or anybody that forgets to put oil, I feel like that's just it. You just got to remember to put the little bit of oil. SH always does it. Uh, uh, amazing Yame Gucci Revoltec. They're all their figures. They're always a small residue of oil on their joints. I feel like that's something that they all should put on there because they do it as well. So they either forgot or they don't know about that. So, anyways, the thigh is perfectly fine now. So that's awesome. And I'm not gonna put anything on it this way, even though it does make a little bit of a sound. But that's not tight enough. So that's awesome. Last leg. 
for the oil, not least. One more time, like I said, sounds like that. Okay, like I said, with same thing with this one. Put the oil in. I'm about to move it right now. And there you go. Just like that. The squeaks are gone, and I have no fear of breaking that hip joint. Just like that, right? Like I said, it is a process. It takes patience. I will not stress the level of patience it takes. If you don't have the patience for this, don't buy the figure. That's pretty much the bottom line. With all this QC this guy had, uh, when it comes to the tightness, uh, because of lack of... Uh, joint fluid that's definitely a deal breaker especially if you have no experience and you don't trust yourself or you don't have the hand for it then don't do it but there you go definitely fixed it nice so just like that all four joints are fixed shoulders neck and hips the last detail here is going to be this i gotta shave that down let's get to it okay so i pulled off the leg off this one so i can see pretty much how i'm going to shave it down you can see that this one is clean cut right here right and there's already kind of a line, a preset line right there already, if you can see that, right, in there. So I'm going to shave to about there. That's where the plastic stops bending. You see how it's sticking out right here? So, yeah. And for that, what I'm going to be using is a nail file. You can use the smaller, the better. This is what I have so far only right now. I had a smaller one, but it it <laughs> I used it so much that it ran out, out of uh, the, uh, the roughness that you need to shave things down, right? That's crazy. Okay, shaving down this is definitely going to take a little more patience because as I was doing it, I slightly scuffed the spot that I did not want to scuff and it's, and it's kind of like right there now. It's not a big problem for me, but it kind of is a little bit, but I'm just going to have to live with that. That's fine. I'm going to shave the rest of this off real quick off camera. I have to do it. I don't have the leverage here. Okay, so I just figured out the best way to do this, which is awesome. This is what I'm talking about. I just took a, a couple minutes off camera and I just pretty much focused on this. And I remember all the other times that kneecaps come off easily for the SH and the Maniko fit figure. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can just pop the kneecap off. I just popped the kneecap off. So it's going to make it that much easier to shave this down. And I can actually show you guys now. So like I said, trying to be careful. I'm bending up the plastic that I have to shave off right upwards. If I can actually, I might even be able to do it with a. Uh... Okay. Well, anyway, I'll just do it like this. So I'm just going to shave it down like this, right? Like that until I get it all off. Just like that. <laughs> okay, so it, I was shaving it down and it was kind of being a little tedious, a little annoying. Uh, because the plastic on the edge was very, very flexible. And bending in every direction, it wouldn't stay sturdy enough to for me to shave it down. So what I did is, I just figured, okay, I picked up a nail clipper. And there was already, a, like I said, kind of a preset line in there from the bending. So I just put the clipper around that and I just cut it with the clipper and then I can just shave the last bit of edges and round that out and smooth it out nicely so that worked out even better clipper clip that piece off now I can shave it down okay I was able to finish it off and so using the nail clipper I clipped off all that damaged plastic that was getting in the way from pegging this foot in I was able to peg the foot in now and it still pops off easily surprisingly I'm gonna have to look into that a little more but other than that, um, it does go into its place for the most part. Uh, I will say one thing that now that I did that, you can see a little bit of gapping here now because I cut off some of that plastic that was bent, right? That was bent and damaged. That was preventing this leg from popping in. That was a massive issue anyways. So now you can see the difference. So this is clipped down because I was forced to. And then this is what it looks like if it was normal, right? So... I'll probably end up having to clip this a little bit just to even that out because it bothers me now. I don't mind a little bit of a gapping. That's fine as long as the leg works. But like I said, QC was definitely vicious on this guy for me, for my copy. I know a lot of guys didn't get all this extra stuff, especially not this. Um, but yeah, if you're not a fixer, uh, if you're not a, a, a modifier, you know, you don't know how to shave down on that stuff. Save yourself the headache and just wait until they either remake it with fixed QC or somebody else makes another one, right? That's the best thing you can do. Anyways, other than that, like I said, the joints with the uh, silicone oil have been definitely, look at that, easily. And they don't fall. It doesn't fall or anything. It's still pretty, it's still pretty tight just without the squeaking, right? Without the danger of breaking your legs. Same thing with the shoulders. Like I said, and then bam.
and then the neck of course so anyways that's pretty much it for this video uh, i was trying to go as fast as i could but there was too much qc on this guy to fix i still got to figure out a way to clean that paint off maybe i'll put a post on that if i if i'm successful or not if enough of you want to see that let me know in the comments what you guys think of the whole process and let me know how bad your guys's figures um uh, arrive to you guys let me know definitely curious and i love hearing everybody's opinions and perspectives definitely helps me out as well so that's it for today if you enjoyed if you liked the video subscribe if you haven't already and give me a like and i will see you guys next time take care